This Winnebago is helping the Suffolk County Vanderbilt Museum and Planetarium expand its own universe on Long Island. It's actually a mobile classroom that teaches school kids about space and astronomy. It was recently donated to the museum from the Museum of Natural History in New York City and unveiled at a Suffolk County legislators meeting in Hopog. And this bus is a perfect match to our planetarium. This can go out to the community, teach children how scientists study space, they can go to the planetarium and they can see how scientists take that information and develop planetarium programs using the information they learn from using telescopes and probing space. And it's really a hands-on learning experience. This is not a toy. This teaches them how to use telescopes and how to uh, understand and study the universe as, as we know it today. Uh, there's information you can read at each station and then the computers help you understand the principles of what you're reading. Uh, so it really is a very educational uh, program and it works with the curriculum in the schools in teaching space and physics and, and science. It is um, able to bring the concepts of astronomy to life. Uh, where a lot of the concepts are really hard to understand, this bus puts it in uh, detail from one section to the other. So we learn about telescopes and light, and each display has some literature written on it so you can read about the concept, and then you get into the hands-on component of the display. There are different components to discovering the universe. One section we learn about telescopes, another we learn a little bit about light, and you go further down the bus and we learn about gravity, digital images, the 3D universe. And uh, this really helps students and adults to learn about how we see the universe. This section is called the 3D universe. And uh, what this is is a video display of our solar system so that you can fly out to the different planets, land on the planets, and experience um, uh, the nighttime sky based on those planets. We can move forward in time, backward in time, and uh, we can pop in uh, the constellations in the background and also the orbit paths of all the planets that orbit our star, the sun. And the sun can be brought into view as well. So um, this is something that the kids love to get their hands on because it allows them to fly through the stars. Uh, where else can you go where you're able to literally fly through the stars? Well, this is their opportunity. So uh, that's, that's a very effective component. But really, I think the essence of the entire bus is that the different components combine into one uh, overlying theme, which is how do we discover the universe. And it's a wonderful learning experience, and most of the students walk away saying, that was awesome. And I think that's really the goal of what we try to do as a museum, a planetarium, and now um, as sort of this mobile uh, classroom, planetarium, uh, science classroom. So uh, we're all excited to have it, and we're looking forward to going out to the community and sharing uh, the wonders of the sky. And Suffolk County legislators who toured it say this is a great addition to the county-run museum. This is just so amazing. I, I love science, um, and uh, as chair of the Education Committee for Suffolk County, this is such an important asset uh, to bring in awareness of what the, what the planetarium has to offer. It's so interactive, too. Kids love to learn uh, through seeing and touching, and um, you've got it all here. This, this is just great. The Suffolk County Vanderbilt Planetarium is just like a mainstay in children's lives. I know when I uh, went to school as a young kid, I traveled to the Vanderbilt. Now the Vanderbilt is reaching out, trying to reach more children, and it really is going to be for, to, to bring science to kids and learn about space, um, and this is, this is very exciting. Education is the important building block for our society, for our children tomorrow. And in math and science, we rank uh, 17th and 25th in the world, despite uh, coming from the wealthiest country on the planet. And so uh, we need more programs such as this. And just the scientific method in and of itself, where it invites us to ask questions, it uh, kind of opens our curiosity. And unless you ask questions, then you're not going to be able to find answers. And so I think a lot of our solutions to the problems that we face when we look at uh, issues of um, energy and then looking at er energy sources and we look at uh, ways that we're going to conserve and protect our planet, all of these ideas are going to come through science.
We have some of the top scientific facilities in the country, in the world. Uh, Brookhaven National Lab, Cold Spring Harbor, uh, Stony Brook University, and even at Summit Community College that we're directly uh, linked to. There's so much um, educational scientific research being done. This gives, you know, um, young kids to even probably uh, uh, high school kids um, a, a glimpse into what's out there. Now this is, this is like a hundred on the cool factor. I mean, you know, the kids to come in, you know what the kids like, they like things dark, they like, they like the colors, you know, and, and also, you know, there's so much to learn about. This is a labor of love, and if you appreciate education, appreciate to really teach the, our kids and, and our future generation important aspects of space and learning and, and, and what's, what's here, um, and history, very important history, um, contribute. Come to the Vanderbilt and you'll feel it. And uh, again, it's so important to be part of something very special. For more information about the Vanderbilt Museum's new mobile classroom and to find out how to get it to visit your town, you can check out the website, VanderbiltMuseum.org. In Hop Hog, Chris Kalor reporting.